Part 2 of Accidents That Have Happened Whilst On School Trips My last video was about an 11 year old London boy called Adil Naeem. Check it out if you haven't already. This video will be looking into the case of 11 year old Bomni Shigaya. Bomni Shigaya, born on the 29th of November 1989, to parents Hamid Shigaya and Salimata Shigaya. Described as a good girl with a sense of humour, who loved to draw and she had a passion for singing and dancing. Bomni Shigaya lived in Brixton, London and had siblings, then 18 year old Yemi, 19 year old Rookie Jat, and a brother. Bomni attended Hill Mead Primary School in Brixton and it was this school that decided to arrange a five day trip abroad to France with the pupils. The trip cost £175 and it was to be the first time the school had ever taken the pupils abroad. Bomney was said to have been very excited to go on the trip. On Monday the 2nd of July 2001, 41 children from Hailmead Primary School, including Bomney, left England to go to France to take part in adventure activities at Lake Canio, a former quarry. There were six adults from the school supervising the children, including the head teacher, Nick Oliver. And after playing in the adventure playground that day, 16 of the 41 children went to swim in a sectioned off pool in the lake. The rest stayed on the adventure playground. One of the children, a young boy, ended up injuring his foot. So the head teacher, Nicholas Oliver, left the pool area to get medical assistance for the boy. And the boy was then taken to hospital by two teachers. At around 3.30 p.m. that day, the children were rounded up to get back on the coach to head back to their hotel. But during a head count, it was noticed that one child was missing. The teachers returned back to the beach area at the lake where they found an unclaimed child's bag on the beach. It was the bag of 11 year old Bomni Shigaya and she was missing and nobody had noticed she was missing until they had got back on the coach and did a head count. That evening, back in England, Bomni Shigaya's mother, Salimata Shigaya, arrived home from work as a chef to find the school secretary waiting on her doorstep. The secretary told her that her daughter was missing. And the next day, Bomni's mother, aunt and cousin got on a plane to France to help in the search for Bomni. Shigaya. Meanwhile, in France, the French police began searching the park and lake for 11-year-old Bomni Shigaya, using helicopters, divers and sniffer dogs. The sniffer dogs had picked up Bomni's scent in the nearby adventure playground where she had been playing earlier with her school friends. A girl who had been at the lake that day said, that a naked man had exposed himself to her and she had taken down his number plate on his van, fearing that Bomney may have been kidnapped and that the naked man could have something to do with her disappearance. French police tracked down the naked man at his home through the number plate of his van that the girl had given them and arrested him. But he was later released when they could not find no evidence that he was involved in the disappearance of 11-year-old Bomney. French police began to question the teachers who were supposed to be supervising Bomney, as well as their classmates who were with her at the lake on the last time they had seen Bomney. A classmate of hers, nine-year-old Jermaine Grayson, said that they were in the lake and Bomney had told him that she was going to get change for a drink of one of the teachers. The classmate was brought back to the scene to show where he had last seen Bomney and he stood on the exact spot in the lake where he said she was. 
fearing that Bromney may have drowned in the lake. Mechanical cutters were brought in to cut away and clear some of the reeds at the bottom of the lake. A hundred police and sniffer dogs also searched the thick grass area surrounding the lake. Bomni Shigaya was last seen in a blue swimming costume and it was first believed that she had run away. But French police doubted that she would have run away while still wearing only a swimming costume since her other belongings had been left on the beach. A team of divers were brought in to search the lake based on the theory that she may have drowned in the lake but they did not find her. There were 300 people and two lifeguards at the lake that day that Bumney went missing, including the teachers that were supposed to be supervising her, but yet nobody saw nothing. When she arrived in France, Bumney's mother collapsed at the shore where her daughter was last seen, supported by her sisters. She was screaming, why did this have to happen? Her spirit is in there, my baby, my baby. On Thursday morning, the 5th of July, 2001, three days after Bomni Shigaya had gone missing, at around 9.30 a.m., her body was found less than 10 meters away from the spot in the water she had last been seen at. Her body had been lying under a line of boys that had been used to mark out the paddling pool area of the lake. Her body was found in three foot of water, 15 foot away from the shore. The authorities could not explain how a team of divers had missed her body as she was found on the exact spot her classmate had stood at when he had been called back to the scene to show where he had last seen her days earlier. Questions were asked as to why it had taken the French police so long to find her body. Questions were also raised as to why people had still been allowed to swim in the lake while the search continued. The French police stated that Bomni Shigaya's body might have been trapped at the bottom of the lake in the eight foot reeds and that they did not deem it necessary to close the lake. Back at Bumney School, Hillmead Primary, a prayer board was placed at the school gates where mothers and children gathered round and wept. There were scenes of grief at the school from parents and school friends as they lay flowers, teddy bears and cards down in memory of Bonmi Shigaya. One of the teachers collapsed and had to be taken to hospital when they heard of Bumney's drowning. Wailing and sobbing could be heard coming from Bomni Shigaya's house and her uncle Hamed Ajanaku told reporters this is absolutely heartbreaking. Bomni's mother said I still cannot believe I have lost my Bomni. I keep thinking that one day she'll come back to me that she will walk through the door and everything will be alright. Bomni Shigaya's body was taken to Rowan, the capital of the northern French region of Normandy, for autopsy, where the post-mortem showed that Bomni had drowned and the condition of her body was consistent with being immersed in water for three days. And just a week after her death, on Tuesday the 10th of July, 2001, Bomni's body was flown back to England. The French authorities began investigating whether the school was in breach of French supervision laws, which state that the children should have been supervised by a minimum of two adults. Whilst the UK chief police began looking into the conditions in which the children were supervised, and Lambeth Council commissioned an independent inquiry to try to find answers to questions the people were asking, such as why was Bomney allowed to swim in the lake when she couldn't swim. Lambeth Council stated that the Shigaya family were owed a full explanation. Hillmead Primary School were facing involuntary manslaughter charges and if found guilty, somebody 
would face up to two years in prison. Lambeth Council appointed a new health and safety advisor and all future trips abroad by any school in Lambeth had to be approved first by the health and safety advisor. Hillmead Primary School had been warned that the lake was dangerous. John Lambert of the School Journey Association, a charity run by retired teachers who had helped to organise the French trip abroad, said that the school was warned that the lake was not a designated swimming area, but that it was supervised by lifeguards. The Shagaya family were looking into suing Lambeth Council for negligence, with Bumney's mother stating, Teachers did not mention anything about children swimming in any lakes. If I knew this, I wouldn't have let my daughter go. 11-year-old Bumni Shigaya's funeral was held on the 14th of July 2001. A horse-drawn carriage took her from her home in Brixton to a memorial service at Lambeth Town Hall where MP and Culture Secretary Tessa Jowell gave a speech. Bomney's 19-year-old sister, Rukiat, read a tribute to her younger sister and broke down in tears, supported by family. Pupils and teachers from Bomney's school attended and her classmates sang songs and read poetry dedicated to the memory of Bomney Shigaya. A private service was then taken by the family at the Nigerian Muslim Association Mosque on Old Kent Road. And then Bomney was buried at Streatham Park Cemetery. <laughs>